Muslims harass protest against death penalty for Iranian lesbians. Recently, a group of young Muslims aggressively heckled a group protesting the death sentence of Iranian LGBTQ activists Zara uh, Sadigi Hamadani and Elhan Chobdar in Cologne, Germany. An Instagram video posted by veteran activist Maryam Namazi showed the angry youth shouting Allahu Akbar as the group tried to explain their intentions. In an interview with the Atheist Republican News team, Namazi said she was about to give a speech when the incident happened. Quote, I was holding an Allah is a woman sign, she said. It was just one of the signs the protesters were holding, while most of the signs in the protest supported Zara and Alham. Quote, they saw the sign and that's when they started shouting Allahu Akbar, Namazi explained. The caption of her video reads, let me repeat, they were not offended by two women being executed in Iran by an Islamic regime, but by a sign. Namazi saw beyond the hateful speech by the hecklers. They were mixing sexes. They were dressed in the Western style. They were in the public space and one was not wearing a hijab. She, she described the group of the young Muslims who heckled their protest. For me, these young people, these are young people who are stuck in these positions, who obviously want to live the life they want, but are held by identity politics and culturalism, she said. She compared the reality of the two activists they are fighting for, Zara, Zahra and Elham, to that of the hecklers. Dogma and hate were so strong it could have warped their minds, she said. She said there are times that she gets mad with people that are unwilling to listen to opposing opinions. But this time, she did not feel anger towards them. Quote, I find their reaction heartbreaking. It did not anger me. I felt heartbroken, she said. Yeah, I saw that video. Should we show the video? Yeah, definitely. Okay. Hold on. Give me a second. Should I just show it here, this one? Yeah, yeah I think it's that just might be easier. One. Yeah, okay. Look at this. It's so... It, this is what Allah Akbar really means to us, okay? He's shouting Allah Akbar, okay? You know what Allah Akbar means here? Because Allah Akbar means many things, but here it means like, I'm intimidating you, right? And I don't know if people understand, like a lot of us have <laughs> PTSD over this. Like sometimes we seem like we're being bigoted because we hear Allah Akbar and we're like, Ugh. and people are like, wow, they're just saying God is great. What's your problem? With like, this is how sensitive you are. This is like, you are so like bigoted that you can't just let Muslims like, well, I mean, first of all, we're letting them, right? Say Allah Akbar, but they don't know like sometimes when here, when we hear Allah Akbar, we hear something other than Allah is great, right? And this guy using Allah Akbar, it just brings that kind of memory back to me. Like this, this is, <laughs> this is, this is what he, it's hard to explain based on the way he's saying Allah Akbar. I can tell what he means by Allah Akbar here, okay? So this is a guy mm. who is a Muslim. Where, where, what city is this, by the way? This is in, This is uh, Cologne. This is right in Cologne. front of the, the, the what's it called? The dome? Yeah. The giant cathedral in Cologne. Okay, okay. So right in, this is in Germany, okay? So they're, they're, Mariam Namaz is holding a sign saying Allah is a woman, and this guy is not having it, okay? And again, th these, this guy is with a girl that is wearing, like, no hijab, and they're, like, completely... It, it shows how fundamental some of these beliefs are and some of these trigger points are, even, even among the Mus many Muslims who are not living an Islamic lifestyle. Let, let's just put it like that. But, like, this guy is just, like, remembered. I, You know, the way I imagine this is that this guy has forgotten that he was a Muslim until just now. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> I think, like, this guy had, like, forgotten that he, like, based on, I'm just guessing here. This is just my guess. Forgotten that he's a Muslim for the past five years or so. And all of a sudden, he saw a sign that says, I love his woman, and just brought it back all to him. Like, oh, my God, I have to put back, I have to be a Muslim again. But look at this guy. Oh, Look, this is the girl she's he's with, and this is what she's wearing. No hijab, nothing, and she's like... And Baba completely... pointed out to me that she's Afghan. Because Has in it... the video, he oh. can tell that she's speaking Dari. Oh, really? Oh, my God. Mm -hmm. 
Oh my god, I, this is like so. I don't know how to explain this, but a woman wearing that with no hijab shouting Allah Akbar, um, it's just I don't know how to explain these things for people who are not born in that environment, but this is like peak irony, okay? Oh, we got the mm-hmm. uh, oxymoron just gave us a, a unicorn with 29 rupees. Thank you, oxymoron. Thank you, yeah, thank you so much. That's cute, but I can't show the unicorn here. Anyway, let's continue. Look at this outfit. You're shouting Allah Akbar with this outfit. Again, don't come at me like she's allowed to. I know. It's just like triggering something in, in me that I don't know how to explain. Okay, so now he's shouting La ilaha illallah, Muhammad and Rasulullah in a very aggressive, I am butthurt, I am triggered attitude. Okay, this is like. You know what he's okay, so he's saying la 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 la, meaning there's no God but Allah and Muhammad and Rasulullah, meaning that uh, Muhammad is the, the prophet of God. However, what he's saying is that you will not defeat Islam, Islam is dominant. Okay, so he's looking at the sign and he's looking at it and shouting. This is the translation of what he's saying that Islam is dominant and your sign is not going to defeat Islam. That's what he means. Do you like how I'm translating the? <laughs> what do you say? Is this girl with them as well? I can't tell. It kind of seems like it because she's in close proximity to them. Okay, I don't know what the other people are. Is that German? But is that the yeah? Okay. okay, okay. So I'm gonna not. Sh- should I keep playing until we see the sign hold my Mariam is holding or no? Or should yeah, I but no. We, I you can keep going because there's something else I wanted to see. Okay. <laughs> Did you see that she was pointing at her like that? Yeah. I think she, I think if I had to guess, she was pointing at like, look at your outfit. Why are you? Who are you to shout Allah Akbar at us, right? So I think if I had to guess, that's what she was shouting. So I saw the poster of one of the two lesbians that were. Okay, so that move aggressively trying to move as if he wants to attack or something. That in Germany, you you don't do that. Okay, this is how you get the police. No, they had to call the police after one of these people hit one of the protesters. Oh wow, okay. That's Mariam right there. That's Mm -hmm. Mariam. It's holding a sign saying Allah is a woman. Okay, we have Afghans on our side as well. I, f- I don't know. If I, I think we have Afghans on both sides, on the Islam side and the anti-Islam side. Okay, I don't like this. Don't point. Don't don't wave an umbrella at her. Okay, I'm gonna criticize the anti uh, the our side people. Okay, when a girl is like coming in, like you know, don't wave an umbrella. Like it could be intimidating. Like, don't intimidate them with that. Especially, especially if it could hit her by accident. Like, that umbrella was getting close to her. Imagine if it got... Yeah, oh my gosh. That's, if, you're waiting to charge. Imagine if you, if, you, if you by accident hit her just a little bit, that would be the end. Like, oh my God, Muslim woman attacked with an umbrella by anti-Islamic protesters. Like, that would be so bad. So don't like don't do that. <laughs> so this is the the anti-Islam side with the Islam side. By the way, guys, like whoever thinks that the anti the anti-Islam people are bigoted, just note that 
the anti-Islam side is <laughs> is mostly Middle Eastern people. Okay, it's mostly Afghani, Pakistani, Middle Eastern people. Iranian, okay, so, Iranian, William. Well, yeah, so. I don't know what they're saying in German, but there's something about Islam. You want to to keep going? No, I think that's good enough. I think really, I mean, if you ever know what to how to eloquently put something, I always defer to Mary Namazi, and so I just want to repeat what she said in the caption of this video, which is, "Let me repeat: they were not offended by two women being executed in Iran by an Islamic regime, but by the sign." And I just think it really speaks to priorities, right? Yeah. Like the priorities of the people who are holding this protest are to save the lives of people who are being persecuted for their sexual identity, right? Who they love, who they're attracted to. Meanwhile, the people who are engaging in intimidation, it's for the defense of (laughs) <laughs> the being who's for whose sake these women are being executed, right? Under whose laws these women are being faced with death. Painful, horrific, suffocating death. I, yeah. I mean, really, what more needs to be said? Where are the priorities here? One group is focused on human life. The others is focused on death. Yeah, that's a good way of putting it. Um, I just wanted to keep playing it until the police shows up. But I don't know if we're going to have the time. Anything? No, I don't. In the I don't think the police showed up in this video. It did. It did. I think it did. It comes here at some oh, point. Okay. Yeah. Um, okay. Cool. What do you? This is a little bit off topic. Actually, I don't know if we should get into it. But what do you think about like the? communists who are going there who display their flags really really prominently their commie flags like do they have their commie flags yeah did you not see it i don't that big white flag that big white flag is like the workers party of iran does it have like the the sickle and hammer no but that's that's a communist party for does it say communists anywhere on the sign? Uh, not to my knowledge. I think th- okay. If it doesn't, they can be there. But I just ha- I just hope that they don't because they have to know they're hurting the movement. Like they are. Like what do you care about? Are you caring? Do you care about the human rights or are you caring about promoting communism? Okay. Because if you use these events like this to promote your communism, you're hurting the cause. I think. Because I know a lot of ex-Muslims, will, particularly Even, Iranians, who don't like when they come and start to show their signage as a communist thing. They're like, We're, you're totally welcome to come join and support our protest, but please don't come and display signs from your own workers' party, basically as a form of ad- advertising or recruitment. Because then you're making this seem like this is all about communism, when yeah. really it's just like a few of you here. Like they've, a lot of people I'm close to, like they actually get quite offended that they feel like the cause of like maybe these two women is being co-opted and taken. What do you think? Um, yeah, I mean, if even if you're a communist and you think communism is the best thing ever, you have to understand that communism, it, this is not about communism. And given how bad the rep, reputation of communism is, you're going to make it so that this cause doesn't get the attention that it deserves. Like, so for example, mm. we have like, for example, like alienate other people, alienate other people. Like, for example, sometimes uh, we know how dirty the word atheist is, right? So we're mm-hmm. not hypocrites, right? So we want to defend some humanists or skeptics somewhere in Africa or like somewhere in Iran. And we have to be careful. Like we ask, we ask experts that are involved in the cases of these people, like this is, we are atheist republic. Like, should we get involved in this or would that be bad for this person's case mm-hmm. because of the word atheist there? 
and we tried to like see if we could get a green light before like not I mean, when it comes to reporting the news, we don't need a green light because we're literally just reporting news, right? But when it comes to actually getting involved in the campaign, we try to see, like we ask the mother or the people, other activists that are experts, like this help or hurt the cause. Uh, mm-hmm. And then we will only get involved if it's like, if we get the green light, right? So if you're a communist, you have to be aware of that. Like, um, are you hurting the cause? by your like you could be a communist and be involved in these activities but is this a place to be advocating like marketing communism like does like you're waving a flag with hammer and sickle but i think like i think it's okay if they didn't like if their logo and sign doesn't have the hammer and sickle and it doesn't say communist anywhere on it i think that's fine like i don't think it's okay. going to alienate i don't think it's going to alienate anybody like nobody's going to come and even say, if they're oh showing God. the signage of a specific political party that is explicitly communist yeah it's fine in okay. my opinion because because the worry is are we alienating people that might think like oh my god these are just a bunch of communists right and i think like you're if you're a party and you want to be involved in this be involved in this but this is not a place to promote communism right mm-hmm. i think like mariam has been very good with that right so, like mariam um she's the a, best oh my god yeah so mariam is a communist right and she's and, like you would never know it doesn't yeah no yeah. you would know but if you ask her right but exactly <laughs> but 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 she when she's doing her anti-religion activism she's not also like mixing it with communism right she's not coming down them like by the way you know so i don't know so i, th- I think she does this very well um yeah. she does her she does her I don't know she's pro communist when she somewhere else right like when she mm-hmm. uh, but he, here look at this um abhin abhin abhinandan is saying communists are essential to the fight uh for atheism you get you guys have to be writ can i say that on youtube no you guys have to be, be s- slow yeah. you you guys are Mm, not very mentally smart. deficient M- mental deficient yeah uh to not see them as allies first of all we do see them as allies even though we disagree with communism so actually you are an idiot for thinking that just because i like we're literally talking about mariam namuzi and we love her and she's a communist so this is very embarrassing for you right now because you act, she's my yeah, queen. You, yeah no like look how stupid you are especially when you're calling other people stupid oh, you know i would be embarrassed if you were. i hope this is not your real name because now this is here forever and you you acted like you were calling out our stupidity but you look like a fool right now okay because we th- this entire show is our support for mayam namazi who is a communist so how look how how stupid you are god damn it we're talking about strategy and whether or not it's okay for advocate advocating for communist communism while you're doing human rights activism okay i'm a capitalist i have i ally with communists all the time okay one of my heroes yeah okay like um wait actually actually, (laughs) you just showed them a picture of me kissing a commie should we bring the milan oh wait yes this is a picture i took at celebrating descent (laughs) do you have it bring it oh my god i don't have it still here i want to see his defense because he's such a stupid idiot and he's calling us idiots but yeah but no do you think you you can find it okay fine i'll bring it i'll bring it you in the meantime jed is asking for a shout out from the Philippines. Hi, Jed from the Philippines. Um, This is a funny comment from Shriash saying, I became a commie, then became an atheist, and then jump shipped. (laughs) 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 Lamau. Yeah, I I like that uh, that progression. You're like, I will will keep the atheism and reject the rest. Thank you very much. Wait, I don't know where to find that picture. Where did we post it? Did Bobak post it? I think Bobak posted on his, his. Well, I have the um, I have that photo among a collection of other photos of, uh, on my cover photo on Facebook. If that makes it easier to find, you can just like no. zoom in on the right one. Why have I never uploaded this? I'm so surprised at myself. Hold on, maybe it's on my Instagram Hold on, profile. No, I don't think so. Wait, let me check. Someone definitely uploaded this. Just a second. Okay. Yeah, I don't know where it was, but let me actually see. Uh, people are saying show it. That guy that was called us an uh, idiots. He's the R word. He's not there to defend himself. I wanted to see what his. Uh, <laughs> was it Baba who <laughs> posted it? Let me check. No, Baba didn't post it. Either. Let's see. Huh. Damn it! Fine. Oh wait, me maybe Milad posted it. 
This was so that. good. Yeah. Yeah, I I'm, I know it was a little bit of a diversion, but I wanted to talk about the whole like communism angle just because I know particularly within Iranian atheist circles, this is like a a big contention that people have amongst each other. Um and so I don't know, I thought it was like worthwhile to just think about that. Um yeah. and I was curious about your opinion. Okay. No, I think and I think it's fine. It. Yeah, I can't find it either. Well, we have to have this ready every time we somebody accuses us of um, <laughs> not, not our supporting token, our, yeah, our, our token, token our token flag. commie, uh, our token commie. Wait, anyways, it's, yeah. Okay, wait, 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 wait. I'm going to show something else in the meantime because this is what happened in Cologne, by the way, guys. I made, <laughs> I made, I made Richard. This is exactly, yeah. This was like, I think, around the same area. So yeah, guys, I met like when I recently went to Germany and I met uh, Dawkins. This is us holding uh, Salman Rushdie. I thought okay. I posted it on Facebook. Yeah, oh, you found. I definitely thought it was posted on Facebook. Okay, here we go. <laughs> oh yeah, that's <laughs> kissing the. Oh, this is actually better because you actually have the <laughs> you have the uh, subtitle here. <laughs> yeah, he's like he look like he's jizzing. <laughs> <laughs> like like <laughs> organs. So wait, can you tell people who this is for those who don't know? <laughs> this is Mila. This is our favorite. Uh, after Mariam Namozi, this is our favorite Kami. Also, we we like to mess with him by always like crapping on communism every time we speak because he yeah, always brings it up. Time a lot comes anywhere, you're like, don't make it about <laughs> communism. <laughs> <laughs> like. So no no he always make like he doesn't anymore like but, but whatever he used <laughs> it was like and he's clever right he doesn't he knows not to say communism because people are allergic to that right he always like you're talking about something completely different about religion about Islam about the Quran but he all of a sudden really talks about workers I'm like oh, Milad Milad what are you doing what is this are you are you making this about communism again <laughs> and then yes. We're talking about feminism. Yes, we're making that comments. Like, anyways, but anyways, like we also we also love it because he's also very uh, tolerant, right? Like every time he shows up, like even though he's our friend, we don't go easy on him. Like we no, <laughs> we like destroy communism every time. Like we like swear at communism. We're like very insulting about communism, right? And he always comes back. He doesn't. <laughs> Yeah, so this so, is this yeah. is Babak and Armin giving Milad kisses <laughs> for all the abuse he takes. <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, I thought that was okay. sweet. Yeah. <laughs> Shriash is like, no, that's actually cute. <laughs> yeah, so Misha is adorable. <laughs> yeah, okay, okay. Fun. Okay, anyways, let's get back to the news <laughs> after that yeah. diversion. Okay, okay. See, this is, by the way, the same way that I think about, like, I don't understand. Like, I hate communism. Like, I hate communism with such a passion, okay? Um, and then I get, but I get along with commies a lot, okay? Um, and I feel like this is how it should be. Like, I don't understand why we hate people who we don't disagree with, <laughs> right? Like, I feel like we could do that with Muslims and Christians, and they should do that with us as well. Like, I hate Islam with a passion, okay? But like I could get along with Muslims. I think I get along with Muslims mo more than most atheists, right? That's I think I get true. along. I get along with Muslims more than many Muslims, <laughs> All right? So, yeah, and, and I feel like we can do that. Like they could do that. Too. Like, and I also welcome people hating atheism, right? And like, you don't have to love atheism for to befriend me. You could continue hating atheism. And you could be my friend. It's fine. It's a, don't take it seriously. Just chill. It's all good. We can hate each other's ideas as long as we don't hate each other. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, it could yeah. all be that simple. <laughs> I was going to say, yeah. I also think you get along with some Muslims better than other atheists. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Sometimes too well. Sometimes people uh, on the uh, Persian channel, they're like, Every time an atheist, like I'm talking to an atheist, I'm very aggressive. And as soon as a Muslim comes, I'm like, like, <laughs> I'm like very nice. I change my tone. I like very nice. And people are like, why are you like shooting them better than us? I'm like, listen, this is like 
maybe an insult because I just think they can't. <laughs> I just think like there's the two cents of them. <laughs> like they're babies. Little oh, babies. You have to take you have to be nice to them or else they will run away. Just... <laughs> no, to be fair, you're like that with most believers you talk to. Like the way you yeah, talk to yeah. believers is completely different than what people would expect. You're like talking to like your little kitten. You're like so nice. Yeah. Yeah, when I'm they're like, not, not in front to... of me and I'm talking about yeah, when they're not in front of me and I'm talking about the religion, I'm like really aggressive. But then as soon as they come in front of me, I'm like, like, uh, but the and then people think goes. you're a hypocrite for some reason, which doesn't make sense. You're like, no, I'm just a nice person. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Also, because they're in front of me and I don't want to expose them to something that they don't want to hear unless they give me the green light, right? When they're not in front of me, like they could just, uh, when I'm very aggressive about religion, they could just as easily just stop the video if they don't like listening to what yeah. I'm saying, right? But I'm, when I'm with them, then I'm kind of feel I feel like I am forcing my you know like they are they are ex they're being exposed to what I'm hearing, but that um, them being able to leave or if they want to leave, it's going to look ridiculous. They're going to like so they're kind of stuck. So I have them, and I ha I want to be like mindful of that. But I don't need to be mindful when I don't have them as an audience, like in front of me, right? Because if they're if they're watching my video, like it's their responsibility to stop watching something that is making them upset, right? But if I'm in front of them, it, it becomes somewhat my responsibility as well. That's why I changed the tactics. Yeah. You can now get the sexiest blasphemous art ever known to mankind for free. Too sexy to show most of it here on YouTube. We draw Muhammad, Hindu goddesses, sexy hijabi art, Jesus, Mother Mary, Japanese God, Greek gods, and much, much more. Click on the link below where it says get our free blasphemous art.